Would you ever wonder if it's maybe more prudent to not daven and ask Hashem for something specific? Because let's face it, you don't always get what you ask for. And if you ask for something specific, then when it, God forbid, doesn't come about, you can get disappointed and really lose your emunah. And so maybe it's more prudent to not ask for something specific and to just ask Hashem to do whatever He wants, whatever He sees fit. And of course, that really undermines the very essence of what davening is about, our ability to effect a change in the world. But hey, it doesn't always work. But maybe what we need is a little change in our understanding of what davening is. It's not davening for a thing so much as the feeling that comes with that thing. See, when you're davening, you don't know what you want. Much of the time you're davening for a good year. What does that mean? For a good day? That could mean anything. So many things could happen during the day, you don't even know what you're davening for. When you're davening for something specific, you don't actually know what you want. But you do know that you want the feeling that comes with that something. I want the million dollars so that I can feel fulfilled and happy and powerful. I want the person cured so that I can feel gratitude. Take the feeling that you want from the thing and focus on that. And you tell Hashem, that feeling is what I want from this thing. But I want the feeling. How you're going to give it to me, Hashem, I don't know. But I want to be, I want to receive it in the way that I can understand and feel that it's good. If I don't get it, then I didn't get it. It has to be a good feeling. And then comes the key to Davni. It's like a father who's holding an apple. And the child really wants it and the father won't give it to the child. But then the child, smart, makes a bracha. And the child, after he makes a bracha, the father's like, what am I going to do? Now he has made a bracha in vain. If I don't give him the apple, the bracha will have been a vain name of Hashem. So he has no choice but to give it to him. And we do the same thing. We ask Hashem to cure this person. And then we make a bracha. Baruch ato Hashem refei Yisrael. I make a bracha that I know that he was already cured. Baruch ato Hashem mevarech Hashanim. I asked you for money, Hashem. I know you already gave me the bracha. I already got it. Because if I ask you for the feeling, I want that feeling, then I can use my imagination to feel it now. I don't know the thing that I want. I know the feeling that I want and I'll get it. And that feeling, I can already feel now. That's how you dab. You take a thing that you want, a thing. You feel the feeling that you will get when you have it and then you work on it after you ask Hashem to feel it now. When you try that way of davening, watch miracles around you happen. Hashem wants you to daven. He'll decide how to do it. The feeling that you want from that thing, a real helpable feeling that you'll get exactly what you asked for.